at what point did you uh, did you start line dancing? Because that's what a lot of people do fine for. And, yeah, I started line dancing uh, at eight mm-hmm. around Christmas time. I actually found a picture. I was like, whoa, my mm. my style was was a little <laughs> something back then. <laughs> But I started line dancing when I was eight. Uh, my bar, my home bar did family night. So we used to go with my dad. And so we would go line dance. And then my brother would skateboard outside. And yeah. And then I just kind of stuck with it. Um, we took a very small break from it when Cowboys closed down. And then, because uh, we switched from Roundup to Cowboys. And then Cowboys closed down for money laundering. Oh, and so, wow. yeah, and so, the, and they didn't really have a kid's night. We would just go in early enough, and then they wouldn't kick us out with my dad. So, and I was 15. Um, and then I moved full-time to West Palm Beach, and then Renegades also did kid ni- kids' nights. Mm. And so then I went to Renegades from 16 till I moved here. Yeah. So you were line dancing. Uh, at what point did you start doing, like, partner dancing? I don't know if... I ever really did what you would now consider partner dancing. Like I two stepped and they did real progressive two step down in South Florida. But that I didn't like I I did the cha cha with my dad from the time I was eight. Yeah. Like I did all the cowboy cha's. And you did was there like a song you enjoyed dancing with your dad to? Yeah, it's um it's called I call it black dress. It's like the nickname for it, but it's I don't know. It's a song, but it's I call it Black Dress. Um, but that's the song that he taught me the cha-cha too, and it's always been my favorite Cowboy Cha song. Um, but so that I did, and then the older I got, the more I started doing like two-step. But none of the kids really did two-step. Like mm-hmm. the kids would do the cha the cha-cha with their parents. So um, and then all the kids together would line dance. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't until I was older, until I started going to Renegades, that I started doing swing. And even at that, it was like actual triple swing. Yeah. It wasn't the country swing that there is now. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when I was older, when I was like 20 and I went back to Roundup, I started doing like progressive two-step. Gotcha. Yeah. So as you got a little bit older, um, into your later teens, early twenties, mm-hmm. um, and you start dating now, um, was there ever like a conscious thought in your brain of like, man, I love dance. It's such a big part of my life. I want to find somebody who enjoys doing this also, or was it just like, Hey, um, you know, if they like dancing, great. If not, um, what, yeah. what, what were your thoughts? It was kind of like, if I liked it, I liked it. And if they liked it, they liked it. If they didn't, I really didn't care. Yeah. However, I did give up going to um, Renegades for, I think, eight months, nine months. Because yeah. my ex hated it. So we didn't go. Yeah. So I gave it up for like eight months. Yeah. I would line dance at home, and I would still go like out on family nights sometimes, but I would go alone. Gotcha. So, yeah. But I never really wanted to date anybody that danced mm-hmm. for a long time. And then you came along. Mm. What about me? <laughs> what happened? You're cool. Oh, I'm cool. You're a cool dude. Okay. Yeah. Well, for uh, those of you who uh, who are watching who may not know, kind of give us a walkthrough of the night that you saw me and met me. What was going through your mind? Oh, I don't know. I, uh, As we know, I don't talk to many people. So... <laughs> I was in the bar, and I hang out, and I used to hang out in this one little corner of Roundup. I didn't really, like, hang out with anybody, Mm -hmm. and they tried. Like, there was a whole group that kept trying to get me to hang out with them, and it wasn't that I didn't like them or didn't want to hang out with them. I just preferred to be alone. That's just who I am, and then I would go out, dance, joke around with people, and I would go back to my little corner, and um, so I was hanging out in my corner, and I saw um, John Paul, who, ugh, but I saw saw him, and you were with him. Mm. And I was like, who is this person in my bar? And then you were, like, sitting at the table, and I kept, like, looking over at you, and I was like, I don't know who this person is. I don't know. And then I went up to the DJ booth and hung out up there, and then you, I saw you go with all the people, like, the whole group. Um, And I was kind of like, who is this guy? So then, after a while, I think it was, like, I don't know, two hours into the night, I finally was like, okay, I'm going to go introduce myself. 
And then I think I even stood like off to the corner of you for like five minutes before I actually talked to myself to go hi. Five minutes to say a word. Wow. 